at sunrise. Wow. Last four hours it's been for sunrise. We got time right now, it's 7 o'clock, so we'll just keep doing it. One of the first early morning tosses in a long time. This is the time the birds got back this morning, 8 o'clock, a little after 8 o'clock. It took over an hour and a few minutes to get back on a windy day at a sunrise and 35 miles. Kind of bit on the slow side, but uh, it's the first day training at sunrise, so that probably threw them off a little bit. I'm thinking the horizon theory is playing a part because the other day I went back to 64 miles a little bit later, and the birds actually got home a, even a little bit later as well. So uh, they were flying towards the colors. Of the horizons which they're used to but now training from sunrise it it's a whole another story for them now ludos this one's actually turning out pretty nice all the birds are going through a moat right now so some of them aren't looking so nice but this is what the ludo turned out to be his uh ninth and tenth flights are pulled so his full feathers aren't in but uh it's starting to look sharp the other ones down there <clears throat> Alright guys, so I wanted to show you guys this bird. This bird came back yesterday evening. Um, this is bird number seven. Last two digits, this bird is a number seven, zero seven. This is a very, very young bird. This, this young bird is one of the young birds that um, the sibling I sent to the one-off race for a, 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 a Another loft uh, from Mac Mac's loft. This is the sibling. But uh, what I wanted to say was that I accidentally, the other day, we made a huge mistake and we accidentally released these birds too far. <laughs> Some birds didn't come back. Um, darn, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to kick myself in the nuts for that. But uh, yeah, uh, we made a mistake um, because we basketed three birds. We basketed the, the birds that we were training for the racing uh, 60 miles. And then the old birds that was supposed to go to one miles and then <clears throat> and then the young birds the late hatches were supposed to go to 25 miles but uh on the way back from tossing for 60 miles we came back and we accidentally released the old birds that was supposed to go to one mile at 25 miles and now we're missing some breeders <laughs> and this young bird was amongst those old birds this young bird only uh this young bird only had uh the training twice at half a mile about half or three quarters miles and then and then um and we were training the old birds with these one like the two nothing the 2019 old birds and and older birds um uh, because we wanted to try to get them in, into the homing instincts for short tosses once again but we had accidentally released them at 25 miles and now we're out some birds guys we're out some breeders um there's like three or four breeders that are not here right now and i want to kick myself in the nuts for that and then um this this bird this young bird and this young bird this young bird came back the same day with some of the 2019 birds and then this one came back like on the third day you know what I'm saying? Uh, and these birds only had nothing but uh half a mile training tosses and we actually uh dropped them off to 25 miles and they actually still got home but some of the older bre or breeders that was not supposed to go that far did not come back and we are we're shattered basically but it's okay and then 
this little young bird right here i'm just gonna tell you guys this accidents happen this one fell off the i've seen this one fall off the nest and broke its leg uh yeah so sometimes uh when they get to a certain age it's good to put the, the babies on the ground because this happens you see that this this baby pigeon was supposed to go to minnesota for my cousin's loft but it broke its leg at a young age so well we're just gonna leave that one there for now I mean, all the other birds, all these other young birds, we've been training them like crazy. Every single day, we've been training them once at least. Uh, and our, our racers, they're getting the same amount of training uh, every day also. But uh, sometimes they get to go a little further out to 60 miles. We don't want to overwork them because it's very close to race day. So uh, this morning, we went to 35 miles. And I, you guys just watched that video right now. So, But uh, yeah, these are all late hatches. They're going through a strong moat. Yeah, they're, they're changing their feathers greatly right now, so. Okay, but these are the Ludos. The Ludos are looking very nice. And they love to fly. They love to come out a lot, but we we, uh, we plucked the ninth and 10th feathers on some of these. But uh, we did lose one of these, the one with the, with the red patches. Uh, she didn't come back in at night and the next morning she was walking around here and a hawk hit the loft I believe because there's three other young birds out and the white one was taken so I'm pretty sure the pop can hit that but it's okay anyways that's just an update on the white noodles you see they've they turned out really nice the the grizzled look is coming in you, you see right underneath the necks The grizzle colors are coming in. You see that? The shine and, and the, the speckles of, of grizzle, grizzle uh, speckles are coming in. But yeah, the ninth and tenth flights are pulled and they're slowly coming in right here. Yeah, but these birds, they love to fly quite a bit. They love to be on the rooftop a lot. But, yep. They're actually very nice, beautiful birds. I'm, I'm glad we got them. But uh, we'll, we're gonna crossbreed them in a few days. Here we're supposed to be getting some uh, some long distance birds from Danny's line from Jack Burax Loft under the Utah room by Jack Burax by the name of Jack Burax Loft. He's been winning his club races lately, and uh, yeah, he's he's selling his house and he's giving away some birds and he's selling some birds. So we decided to buy some of uh, Danny's old line. You guys, everybody knows Danny. Danny, the guy from uh, the from North Carolina, the other YouTuber guy. Uh, yeah, I spoke on the phone with him yesterday also about a few things and um, Yeah, and we're supposed to be getting some of his lines here We were supposed to be getting like three birds or two birds from his line and, and a Sion bird and those should all be long distance birds They're probably not the fastest birds on the middle distances and short distances, but the long distances they should be okay But I figure they might do really well if we kind of cross breed them with ours. So yeah, they'll be here in a few days, and we got them for a pretty, pretty decent, cheap price. They were only fifty dollars each, which is a very, very good uh, deal. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try them out. We're gonna crossbreed them and try them out in uh, in a few days. Here, we'll let you guys know. And then another update is that we are going to be driving the trailer. We're gonna be liberating the birds. Me and my son, we're gonna be driving out to liberate the birds at three hundred fifty miles for final race day uh, because. Last week was canceled, and now I guess the schedules doesn't fit the new driver's schedule. So we decided we're gonna fill in. We only got two birds, and 250 miles races within is coming up within two days now. And we might, we're hoping our birds get back home. You know, we don't want to, we don't want, we don't want to lose any birds, but uh, you know, we're thinking that you know <laughs> they might they might not be winners anyway. So we're gonna offer to drive. And um, yep, uh, we thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't. And here's the videos of our recent training days. Just wanted to, you know, say, put that out there for you guys. Just in case you guys want to see how hard we train and how much we train. We, we train very, very often. Every night uh, in the late evening hours, whenever we can, we do go for a training toss. And then in the morning hours, whenever we can, we do try to get the birds out there as well. But, uh, but it's always usually evening time. All right, but here's the videos that, um, here's the videos for, of the recent training days.
Okay, today is Monday. Uh, it's like late in the afternoon, five o'clock, five something, maybe five thirty. I forgot the time. Okay, yeah, the time is five fifteen on the dot right now, so we're letting the birds out. Come on, birdies, let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Get home quickly, but you, but you. Get home quickly. to the north chasing the horizon of the sunlight I think but it's almost sunset and the colors of the horizons looks more right going that way so they're gonna probably go that way for a little while before they start heading back this way they'll eventually learn Watch out for fence lines. Blue bars got back. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, come on, come on. They're all back together now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here comes the pigeon by himself. Throw another handful. Look right. 
get past over there where we can't see them no more, then we'll release these. Pigeons are back. All right, guys, and we got another update for you guys. We will be driving the final race. Uh, we will be liberating the birds on the final race. Me and my son are going to be driving the trailer out there to 350 miles. Um, we're getting paid. Uh, we're getting paid for mileage, which is a good thing because you know we, we just need gas money for that. And then now we're going to be driving, uh, liberating the club, the combines birds um, at 350 miles. So tune in for that. That should be coming in uh, in about three weeks from now, right? So that's what that's just what, what I wanted to update you guys. My daughter will be home to to call in our birds if if our two birds, our two final birds in the race, makes it to the final race. Uh, my daughter will be home. I don't believe that we're gonna win at all, but you know we're hoping that our birds would at least finish 350 miles race for young bird season because if they don't, then our birds aren't that good. <laughs> we would need a major upgrade. But anyways, uh, yeah, I just want to put I just wanted to put that out there that we are going to be driving and we will be vlogging, uh, you know, all along the way, our, our little adventure and road trip adventure and stuff like that. So tune in. Okay.